farming was kind of the closest thing to just somewhere to hang out and learn about something that wasn't so personal, wasn't super emotional. And then it ended up being this huge like emotional experience because I learned so much about myself in the process of farming and what farming is and how hard you have to work to be a good farmer. I didn't want to rely on color. I knew that farming was going to have really beautiful color aesthetics with the light and just just the way farming is. I just knew the colors were going to be awesome and I really wanted to um, tell the story and cut all that out and make people like really look into the subjects. The best part of having Matt on the farm was just his interest, his interest in everything. It's, like I said, he didn't know anything about farming and teaching him about it and uh, the sweet pictures he took and how excited everyone got, not just the guys that worked here, but he posts them online and, and uh, yeah, sharing them. So it was, it was pretty, it's pretty cool. What I have noticed in my work that I'm so thankful for is I've, I've photographed what is close to me. Not that farming was close to me, but it became close to me. And man, I think if you just shoot what really makes your heart tick, I think that it, I think that has a huge effect on your work because there's this emotional investment in it that you can't just be like, you can't just like get away from. And then you're gonna find yourself really caring about the subject in a way that you, you didn't think you would. And um, man, it, it, you see it in the photos. Even if you don't see it, the photos will show it. Spitting words like stones they built around their hearts. And there were children with the broken eyes of old men. Cause their child eyes had been stolen from them. So come on fast, train, speed it up. I wanna find out if God exists.